Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 302, NASDAQ is down 69, SP is up 10. Gold, gold contract up $14.10, trading at 2030. You get the silver market down 12 cents, 24 dollars, 3 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up four dollars, eighty-five cents, eighty dollars, fifty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up sixteen ticks, trading one fifteen thirteen. The thirty-year up twenty-four at one thirty-one twenty-nine. And king dollar, king dollar down four hundred and eleven ticks, trading one hundred two oh nine four. The euro is at one hundred eight. The yen is at one thirty-two, and the British pound is at one twenty-four to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at that. Well, let's go into the futures first and see where we stand here. You've been in a small consolidation all day long inside the SPs. There we go. So what we had the thing that's intriguing with the SP right now, we'll see what it's gonna it actually from this morning, that that's a high volume low that's laying out there at the low. So We'll see if we want to make a run back down there. If it does, that's a 21-point run downside. You know, it, it's never, it hasn't been tested. We came down twice, you know, didn't have a lot of volume. Then we spiked higher. You know, you had some volume. We spiked higher with 21,000, but the 21,000 was going at the 43,000. So that is game, that, that high volume low that's laying out there. That is on the short-term basis. Um, if we take a look at this, you got to remember, this is a four-day work week. Uh, this week, you have Good Friday, markets are closed, and last Friday, what did happen, see that expansion of volume right there? Well, your swing point had 72 million shares. You took that out with 112, so that's telling me that that high that's established out there on the 2nd of February's game, once again, we're right next to it. I mean, it's 418, You're, we hit that 411 today. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. We have an inside day in the NDX out here today, so it really doesn't tell you much. You get you don't you don't have any buyers, you don't have any sellers, but the NDX did break higher. Now it broke higher with lighter volume, but the bottom line is that uh, we take this and put this back a little bit. I suspect you know on the NDX the Qs the three. I'm gonna that'd be interesting, man. 334 is game. Yeah, I mean, that's, that, that's the next swing point, you know. And 318, oh, this would be interesting here. So the range, getting in the higher range is right, it, it's crawling in there right now. Because we're at 319, 318.36 gets you in that higher range. But I'd want to see it push further into that range to say that, okay, we, we are in that range, we want to move. Gold, gold contract is in a high-end consolidation out here. Um, you know, we've been here, though, for almost two weeks. Well, we have been here for two weeks, five, ten, a little over two weeks. Um, you get up. We hit a high today of 2008. You get a low of 16, uh, 1965. You've done 178,000 contracts. We'll see where that shakes out. But when you actually do still look at the equities, folks, if we bring up the GDX, um, you know, bottom line is that it's going into that high. And, yeah, no, it's picking up speed. Yeah, it is picking up speed. Yeah, that's good. No, the GDX is picking up speed. Needs a little bit more, but it's picking up speed. There's no doubt about it. Notes and bonds. Note and bond market, folks. We have the note and bond market out here. You have higher price, lower yield. You know, this note and bond market, it looks to me like this whole thing's uh, topped out. Uh, so we're up 16 ticks. You're down 140,000 contracts out here. Now, it would be amazing if this is an ABC up because what we did, we only did a... 0.382 retracement from the run from the low of February all the way up. So you do a 0.382 retracement, uh, 
Uh, that that is a strong market, folks. Okay, a five zero retracement. You know, you know, it can go either way. A point three eight two. That's a market that wants higher price. And we go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar, and that's what's giving this market room out here today. No doubt. You get, take a look at this dollar out here. Dollar didn't hold price this morning. Not breaking its lows yet, but the bottom line is that the last low last week was 102.915. And, uh, no, 101.915. And we've hit 101.982 thus far. And then if we get over to the oil market, you had uh, OPEC Plus uh, bring cut production by a million gallons, million barrels a day, rather. And this baby's, you know, it's, it's interesting. It hasn't got over the top of the consolidation. At the top of the consolidation is 82.64. We've hit 81.69. So this is going to be intriguing because if it made it over the top of the consolidation, then you're, you're talking some real action here. You don't make it over that top, particularly because what you have is that there's some volume in this thing today, as there should be, because there's plenty of folks, I'm sure, that were caught in the wrong side of this. But you can see... Most times, when you get that close, what you don't like to see is a gap like this, then a huge amount of volume, because it's almost like, oh, you ran out of gas right before you got to the swing point. But we'll see how that shakes out, you know, tomorrow, next couple days. Because what does happen is that we're in window dressing right now. You get a short week uh, ahead of us. You know, bottom line, I, I, can see, I can still see more buying coming in. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Um, Tesla's down 13 bucks. You get uh, Intel up 23 cents. Advanced Micro up a dollar ninety. We get uh, Amazon off a buck ninety. Let's see. Exxon. Oh, yeah, look at that. Exxon's up seven dollars. Seven dollars. Oh my God. Look at let's look at this. XOM. Um, that's something nice to wake up in the morning. Wow. Yep. So the high on Exxon was uh, 119.63. Right now you're at 116.80. Um, so as, as I've <laughs> said, oil, the oil market loves consolidating, folks. And it's a monster consolidation, huge consolidation. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now at 327. NASDAQ is down 61. S&P's up 12.5. We'll come right back.